Assalamualaikum, my dear students. Hope all of you are well. Alhamdulillah, I am also well. For a long time, you are not getting any formal classes in English. But Alhamdulillah, we have started online classes. So that's why I am over here. It's me, Naima Ahmed from Mahamadhu Campus, KG Jackpot Section Class Teacher. So all of you are welcome to my lesson. Today, I am going to teach class on singular and plural. Today, I will teach you singular and plural. Okay, singular means one, it refers one, and plural means many, it refers two or many more, two or many object, singular one and plural many. Okay, now for example, how many cup, how many cup, one, so it's singular, but if I add another cup with that cup, now, how many cups are over here? Two. So, now it's plural. So, singular, it's one. Singular refers one. Plural, it refers many. It refers many. More than one object. More than one. Two or many more. That is plural. Pencil. It refers singular. But if I add another pencil, then it's plural. It might be two or three Okay, then it would be plural. But singular always refers one. Onions. Onions. It refers plural. Because we have two onions in my hand. So, what we have learned? Singular refers to one and plural refers to many. On it. Okay, now. If you have, uh, all of you have book at your home. So, please open pages. 110. Open page 110. When we change the singular word into plurals. When we change the singular word into plural, what we have to do? Yes, we have to add S at the end of the word. Like one pencil. When it was pencil, that time it was okay. But when I add another pencil, that means it refers plural. So, I have to add S. Now, we should we say pencil or pencils? No, it would be pencils. It would be pencils because it's plural. Okay, now. Is that your favorite one? Yes, sharpener. How many sharpener? One. Then it's okay. It's singular. But when I add another sharpener with it, then we have to tell sharpeners. We have to tell sharpeners. Is it clear, my dear students? So now, if I uh, give you some word or if I uh, um, give you to uh, change the singular word into plural, what you will see? Let's see. Okay. Singular bird, when I change the word into plural, it would be birds. Pencil, pencils. Brick, bricks. Brick money, eat. Owl, pacha. Owls. Ball, balls. Ant, ants. Meow, your favorite. Cat, cats. Cat, cats. So, bird was singular, that's why we didn't add S. But when I change the singular word into plural, we have to add S. So, bird, birds. So, the main point is when we change the singular word into plurals, at the end of the word, we have to add S. Bird, birds. Pencil, pencils. Brick, bricks. Owl, owls. Ball, balls. And, ants. Cat, cats. Okay. Now, it's do our exercise time. From page number 110, and 100, uh, from page number 110 and 110. You have to just change the singular word into plurals. Okay. Now go to page number 112.
this this is singular and this this is plural this is singular this is plural this is singular and this is plural if you uh, open page uh, 112 then you will see the first picture is apple apple when it was one apple that time you just only write apple you just only write apple this is an apple obviously this this you have to use because there was only one apple and it was singular but when it uh, uh, becomes uh, two or more apples that time we have to use these these are apples now if i uh, draw one picture at the board then you can see and you will understand very well How many tree? One tree. Okay. So we have to write. But if I. Uh, How many trees are over here? Two. So we have to write these. Sorry, the board is so. Because there was only one tree. That's why it refers singular. This is a tree. That's why we use that this. But how many trees? Two trees. So we have to use T H E A C. These, these are trees. These are trees. As here or over here, two tree. That's why you have to add S. Okay. Now what do we have learned? We have learned singular refers one and plural refers many. It refers more than one object or animals. Okay, that time it plurals. At the end of the word, we have to add S. At the end of the word, we have to S. And another thing already we have known about it. This and this. In singular, we use T-H-I-S. In plural, we use T-H-E-S-E. -E. Like one apple, this is an apple. When it two or more than two apples, that time we have to say T-H-E-S-E. -E. These are apples. Okay, uh, if I draw bat. How many bat, my dear students? It's one. So which these we should use? Yes, we have to write T H I S. This is a bat. Because there is only one bat. But if I draw
okay uh, when it's one bat with uh, right this is a bat but if i draw another bat over here i have to draw it over here because uh, there is not enough space Okay, now how many bats are over here? Two. So it would be bat or bats. Obviously, my dear students, it would be bat. So which this we will write? This one or this one? Yes, this one means you are very right. Good. Well done. So this are bats. I hope all of you have uh, uh, got uh, all of you have got me. So, fill in the uh, if you go to page number hundred fourteen, then you will uh, see. Circle the correct word. Circle the correct word. There is a cork picture. Cork, that one. So, if one cork or two cork. If it's two cork, then we have to circle corks. If one, then we have to circle cork. Like frog. I'm not jama poli. So the one frog hoy, we have to circle frog. If it two, then we have to circle frogs. I hope all of you have uh, got my point. Alhamdulillah. And there is a page number 117. Please note it down. 117. Do it as your homework. Do it by yourself. Okay. When you will uh, go to 117, you will see some word like bird, pencil, uh, cup, mark. So you have to just change the singular word into plural. And what we have known about it, already I have told you, when we change the singular word into plural, we have to add S. We have to add S. So that's all from me today. Hope all of you uh, have understood and all of you have enjoyed the video. Hope to see you very soon. Assalamu alaikum. Thank you very much.